Okay, so we are on page 34 and today we are going to learn something new. We're always learning something new, but <laughs> today the idea is we're going to learn about slurs and they're these lovely curls that show up in the music over a bunch of notes. It can be two notes, but usually slurs cover many notes. And I'm going to show you on a sheet first and then I'll show you on the piano to give you an idea of how slurs to give you an idea of how slurs work. Slurs is actually quite a tricky word to say. I keep tripping over it today. <laughs> so the idea is that all the notes that sit under a slur need to be connected. Now, long time ago, almost at the beginning of the book, we learned a special word and it started with an L and I'm going to leave it with you to see if you can remember throughout these you know, the next few minutes that we're going to be together doing slurs. Can you remember the special name when we connected the notes that started with L? L. I'm not going to give you any more. See if you can remember. It's somewhere, it's in the book. It was early days. We, we saw it a while ago. Right. So we're on page 34 and we're looking at Happy Halloween. And what happens in our Happy Halloween is that all of a sudden now we have these curves over our notes. Okay, now I've just made up a random song. It doesn't look anything like your song because it's not allowed to, but I've just done random notes and I've put a few curls in. Now, what I always ask my students to do, and because you're my student, I'm asking you to do this now, <laughs> is to go through and where you see these big curls in the music, and you'll have to look carefully because your curls are going to be a lot closer to the notes, but I want you to color in these slurs. I'm going to use this lovely yellow on this one. Okay, and then Oh, I'm trying to think where you can write it, but wherever you can, write the word slur in that color. Okay, write that word to help you remember that that's what these are called, okay? And then all my students like to do different colors. It's a rainbow thing that goes on now with our slurs. So you want to highlight the other slur. Whoops, not very good at coloring in or doing any of this sort of work. So I'll do my best there. So you want it to look that color. You can use highlighters if you have them. And then wherever you can, fit in the word slur for that one. Okay, and then find the next curl. It's a long curl. It should cover a lot of notes. I'm trying to think. The first slur covers two, four, six. It covers seven notes. Okay, so make sure you find that slur. It's the big curl that goes across. And write the word slur for that one. And the last one I'm going to do is in this lovely blue. So it stands out from your music because we're trying to learn slurs. Okay. Uh, and there we go. And then when you've got the colors and you can see lovely colors on each one, write the word slur for that one in that color. Okay. You can do them all in one color. If you want them all yellow, you can do them all yellow or all orange. Okay, but we start off with this song by highlighting our slurs and writing the word slur wherever you can fit it in with that color. Okay, and I'm going to see you at the piano so that I can explain to you what slurs do, how they work, what their job is. But the most important thing for you to notice is that where a slur starts and where it finishes, all of these notes underneath there okay, that are affected by the slur or that sit under the slur. These notes have to be all connected until you get to the end of the slur. Then there's a tiny break. You'll hear it when we're playing it later on the piano, okay? But for now, highlight your slurs, write in the word slur and pay attention that where the slur starts to where the slur finishes, all of the notes that are sitting between those two points have to be connected. So from here to here. So we're going to connect, 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 connect until we get to there where it finishes, okay? So where it finishes there, there, all of these notes are going to be connected. Now, sometimes you'll see that the slur goes above the notes or sometimes you'll see, <laughs> you'll see, I'm getting my own tongue twisted here at the moment. You'll see that the slurs go 
under the notes. And the reason for that is that the slur will always follow the heads of the notes. It will stay away from the sticks, okay? Mostly, it will try to stay away from the sticks. It wants to follow where the heads are, okay? So if the sticks are pointing down, like they are for the first seven notes, your slur will be on top. If the sticks are pointing up, like they are for the six notes at the end of that first line for Happy Halloween, you'll see that the slur is underneath them, okay? And for you, and I'll just quickly show you here, your slurs will be more like that. Okay, mine's pretty big. I couldn't get one to be smaller than what I wanted the curve to be, but your slur will look more like that in your music. It's actually just a small curve. And the orange one, the same. It kind of starts there and kind of that way. The slur will be more like that, much smaller than this big curve that I've got here. But when I was trying to do them on the computer, that's the only curve that I could get. Your green one's the same. You're just going to go from there to about, ooh, there. And you've got to really look for them because you've got words there. You've got the words of the song. So you might actually find it hard to see these slurs, but really look for them and highlight them for me, okay? In your books and then write the word slur with that color. So we've made it all the way to page 34, lesson 19. And in this lesson, we are going to learn all about slurs. The slurs are pretty important. So in a previous video, we looked at what the slurs are and I've asked you to highlight them and I showed you on my sheet, okay, what we were going to do. Now, I'm going to explain to you what slur means. It's like an umbrella, it's a curved line, right? And that curved line from where it starts to where it finishes, all the notes that it covers, all the notes that sit underneath the slur or on top of the slur because it all depends on which way the notes are pointing. But all the notes that are included in that slur, they have to be connected. Okay, we're not allowed to play those notes disconnected anymore. They have to be connected. So these notes are slurs. And you'll notice in slurs you can have many notes. You can have a lot of notes included in a slur. So that's all slurred. And that's all slurred. That's all slurred. And that's all slurred. But we can also slur our skips. we have notes in a slur contained within a slur it's like they're contained in a bubble they have to be connected okay once you have a slur you cannot separate you have to try as much as you can to join those notes okay that's what slurs are for so if you don't have a slur you can play them all disconnected it doesn't matter okay but once the slur comes in from the first note to the last note that's included in that slur, you must connect all those notes. They need to be joined. So the idea is that this note holds until the next one plays, so that one sound rolls into the next sound. But be careful not to. I get that a lot when people struggle with um, joining notes. They hold everything down, okay? <laughs> and that's not a slur, and that's not connecting notes. That's just holding everything down. So. The idea is that you hold this one until the next one comes down and then you let go. And then you hold that one until that one comes down. And then you hold that one until that comes down. It's like they swap. But see, one sound rolls nicely into the next without... That's another way, but that's, uh, hmm, that's really holding notes for too long. You want to hold it long enough. But when that sound comes in, that sound disappears. See the difference? So just play around with it lots and lots on your piano. The only way to get good at anything is to just keep playing around with it. So be careful that you're not holding everything down. I get that a lot actually when people are slurring for the first time and they're mm, finding it tricky. Or another one is that they'll find that actually hard to do but some students do that <laughs> they'll hold the whole note until that one's down and then 
maybe start that way if you're struggling to do it but make sure that by the time this one comes down that the previous note is released okay keep trying okay you can only get better at it if you keep trying okay so how did you go with your slurs and did you remember the special name for when we connect the notes and make them all sound nice and smooth did you remember or you still don't remember ah come on i know we didn't do it much and i tend to call it more connected than use the actual word but the word was legato so hopefully you did remember i'm hoping you did and you've told me in the comments the right word but slur is another way of asking you know the musician to play smooth and connected it's another symbol for that sometimes you'll see the curve over the notes that tells you you have to connect them and sometimes you will see the word legato and they both mean the same thing okay